Hello all of my crafty people. Welcome to the Mug Life DIY. This is Julia and I'm so glad you stopped by my channel today and decided to watch two really fun Dollar Tree recycled DIY crafts. Uh, this first project is actually going to be a message board or cork board, whatever you refer to them. Um, so I had this leftover tag sign that I really loved. I actually believe it was from uh, Dollar Tree Summer Collection. I've had it that long and I've just been waiting. I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do with it, but I found these two. Yes, I ran into my tripod, guys. <laughs> I found two of these roll of cork and I grabbed two of them. And I'm also going to use foam board and I just glued it right to it. Now I flipped my sign over and I'm going to trace the little top half section of my tag sign onto it so I can go ahead and cut both of my pieces of my little roll or not roll, cork roll. And you can just see, I don't know what I was doing right here. I'm like, yeah, let me just kind of sort of outline it. No, it didn't work. I, come on guys, you know me. This is how I roll. I have to do things the hard way. And that's what I did. Anyways, I went ahead and pulled the little backings off and I put it on the side with the foam board. This way, when I push my push pins in, it's not gonna mess up that little wooden sign from the Dollar Tree. You're actually gonna be pushing into the foam core. So I also had to jazz it up a little bit. I found this adorable arrow, um, what are these called? Ribbon from Dollar Tree. Actually, I believe it was about a month ago. And I just absolutely love it. I have arrows everywhere in my house. Um, if you haven't seen any of my ear I need to make an arrow playlist because I make a lot of arrows guys I don't know and basically use whatever ribbon that you would like you could also paint it painting it would also give it a nice pop of color and touch but this is for my craft space so I wanted to be able to change it out with different pictures or little mementos things that I like to look at when I'm crafting and I just took some of my nautical rope left over from another project and i just glued around on the side just to kind of finish off the look of it and even when you turn the sign around it's the nice brown backing it's not the actual sign so it's a really nice completed look this would be a great gift for someone or for your kids rooms just perfect for anything or even a college dorm room i'm going there let's do it so i just glued the little top section um to the back you can see just like that, glop it on, flatten it out with my little what popsicle, popsicle craft stick, whatever you guys call them. And I found these Dollar Tree stickers. They are the little succulents and I'm obsessed with succulents. My grandmother used to grow them and I just love them. And I have been trying so hard this past honestly about two years now trying to get a more green thumb. I don't know if it's possible, but I'm trying. So they're just stickers. I hot glued thumbtacks to my stickers. I thought it would bring a really fun, cute, whimsical kind of look, um, which is totally me, to these stickers. And then I'm going to just jazz it up with those pins and my little mementos of pictures. I'm so geeked out about this little message board. Uh, it turned out like so much better than my sketch. I, I don't know, I've been on a crafting roll. Don't ask, I'm just gonna keep going with it. But I absolutely love it. I might make a few more of these, maybe with a couple of the other different Dollar Tree signs that they have. They have some really cute scalloped edges, so I might grab a couple more and make a great cork board. All right, so my second project, I'm going to be using one of my canvases. No, I do not know the size. I will have to measure it and have it listed down below. During our move, a couple of my canvases actually um, were punctured, so I do normally like to keep the canvas and reuse it for some other thing, which I probably will still keep these scrap fabrics for something. But I picked up this little canvas, um, no problema bag at the Dollar Tree a few weeks ago. Actually, it may have been a month ago. Um, it was in the little front section with all the other recyclable bags. I 
absolutely <laughs> loved it. As soon as I saw it, I already had the craft in my head. I knew immediately what I wanted to do. Um, so we're gonna basically do a reverse picture frame. If you guys have never done a reverse canvas, they are so easy to do. You just basically pull out the staples in the canvas and I am using my foam board as my back and I'm going to glue my little llama to my canvas. You can see I'm just gluing it. And then you are going to glue the canvas using, you see all those staples, that side is the back now. And it's gonna have a lovely little frame. My personal style, I like the natural wood. If that's not your styling and your color, you could totally grab um, some stain or water down some paint, whatever is your fancy. And they actually also had different little canvas bags um, in other sayings. A couple of words, a couple of other things. So be on the lookout for those. You don't have to do the crazy llama like me. And I am going to glue all four corners and I'm just going to work quickly and push down my foam board and kind of center it a little bit better because it's hot glue. You can move it around a bit and press it down. Then I'm going to trim off all of the excess canvas just around the corners, a little bit at the edges, just to clean it up the look a little bit easier. And I'm gonna do what I do best and use as much of the product project piece as I can. So I am going to take the leftover pieces or the back part of the canvas bag and I am going to glue that down over top. This is going to finish off my project, make it look really seamless, really nice high end look to it. Another uh, way you could do if you didn't want to use the canvas back, if you have the brown paper bag roll from Dollar Tree, if you happen to have that, that would also finish it off or you honestly don't have to do anything to the back if that's your fancy also. Now I am going to tell you, I thought of this after the fact <laughs> that I already glued everything down seamlessly, beautifully of how to hang it. If, it, if I could go back, I would probably add a little um, string towards the top and then kind of glue it in the seam so it looked really streamlined to it. But you will see what I do to fix that problem. So I'm gonna be like the llama. No problem, llama. <laughs> How do you guys say that? No problem, llama, no prob. Oh, okay, see, I just figured it out myself. All right, guys. <laughs> Fantastic, awesome. So I bought these little pom-poms from Hobby Lobby. I believe it was my Christmas haul. I will have that video linked up below or above. I'll have it linked if you guys want to watch that. You can make pom-poms yourself. I have just never made pom-poms. I should probably try, but I literally got this for a dollar, if not less, I don't remember. And I really love the blue. Blue is, of course, my favorite color. So I incorporate blues and greens pretty much in my entire house. I wanted to add a little funny little pop of color to this sign. So I glued the pom-poms to the bottom of the canvas. And I believe I cut them down from the string into five different sections. And then I began gluing the pom-poms to the bottom of the canvas. And if you can't tell, I love using popsicle sticks, or I guess actually they're referred crafters sticks. I use them all the time for literally anything and everything. Um, I use them because I tend to burn my fingers. I bought these little pink, um, what are they called? Little finger protectors from the Dollar Tree, and I have literally lost all of them that was in the pack. So the little popsicle sticks kind of help me from burning myself. Um, I will glue things down and then I just put the popsicle stick and I'm able to press down the hot glue. Hack, life, hint, I don't know what you would actually call this, but I do it all the time. And then I just leave the popsicle sticks there because it, I do, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you guys do this too. Maybe it's just me. It's okay, but I think it works out great. I recommend it. If you haven't tried pop school sticks, go ahead and give it a try. Now 
And remember that little whoops I told you about not adding the string to hang my picture. So what do I do to rectify this problem? I use some of the extra string that I cut from my pom-poms and of course a popsicle stick. And here it is hung up in my little craft corner right by my desk and it just makes me oh so happy. I cannot believe how adorable these two signs turned out. I really love them. I hope you guys love them as well. Try them out. Be sure to tag me on Instagram. I'll have my tag above. I would love if you would subscribe, like, comment your favorite project below, and I'll see you guys next time.